Quick tip, if you want to use a machine gun on the back of your SMK, or any other tank for that matter that has a machine gun like that, what you're going to do is go into your controls, tank control, scroll down until you find select machine gun, and then it's going to be unbound, so you need to change it to a hotkey. But, check this out, look at the firepower. This is a Panzer III. I just killed his entire turret crew. How awesome is that? Hey guys, and welcome back to War Thunder. It's Krebsy here, and we're going to be trying to kill two birds with one stone in today's video yet again by going out with a tank that is relatively new to myself. Uh, I've upgraded a little tiny bit, but uh, it's going to be mostly an educational experience, all right? A learning experience, both for myself and possibly for you guys, the viewers, as well. So this tank, overall, uh, is pretty much like a glass cannon in every single aspect of the word where it's very fast, very agile, but has no armor. Even a T26, a tier 1, is able to penetrate and kill this tank. It's happened to me, believe it or not. Yes, it has happened to me. A T26 has killed me. But also, it's uh, got a very decent gun, high penetration, fast reload speeds. Overall, you gotta play a little bit differently than you would other tanks, because of the fact that it can't take much punishment. You have to either do one of two courses of play. Either you brawl, like on urban maps, that is very nice to do on. Or you use distance to your advantage, because you can't take hits, right? You have to use distance to your advantage so that the enemy has trouble even hitting you. So we're trying to kill this KV-1 down here, just so that, you know, it adds towards my bomber points. So I'm going to try to show you guys both the both styles of play. A little bit awkward on this map, actually. Oh, God damn it. Why won't he die? A little bit awkward on this map because, unfortunately, you don't really get long-range shots unless you properly see something all the way down over there. So it's mostly like medium range, kind of close range. Medium range, mostly. And then, if I get time, we'll go in the M18 Black Cat, which is very similar to this tank. And maybe we'll try to do a little bit of brawling over on the north, northern uh, side of the map, shall we? So I'm just trying to spawn out if there's any enemies around here. You have to be really cautious, remember? I can see something down there. I'm just really worried if there's anything in front of me, though. And if I see dead AI ally tanks, then surely there must be something. I don't see anything. Okay, I think I spotted something just up here, on the map anyway. This is a Panzer 3M. He just fired his gun, so I think we can move in. This is our chance and opportunity. Don't even think he even realized that I was there. So we're just going to back off a little bit. T-34 just fired his gun, and we're just going to aim right there. Boom! Kill the entire crew. Perfect. And what is that? Is that an AI or is that real? I think it's AI. Hello AI. There we go. And we should have enough points now for a bomber. So we're just gonna back off towards the safety of my hillside. Whoa! Calm down, tiger! Or should I say Farka Wolf? Holy shit. That was way too close. Got the aircraft kill on that as well. Gotta be really, really careful when it comes to aircraft because they will single you out, whether that's fighters or bombers like the TU-2 with cannons on them. Because you're an open top tank and you have no armor, they will single you, single you out. And that's what I like to do when I go out in a bomber like the TU-2. Just try to kill uh, the enemies, right? Okay, so what are we going to do? We're just going to dodge him. We're not going to go for the head-on. If I had a TU-2, maybe I would consider it. Oh, nice. He's flying away. I have no quarrels with that. So we're going to try to help our guys over in the middle by just lessening the burden by simply dropping bombs on the enemy. Alright, so we're gonna fly around so for a second pass. And I see a hot target there of about four tanks. Oh my dearie me, this is getting me very excited and moist. Guys, 
I'm getting very excited right now. You don't you have to understand this. Oh my. Holy shit. Okay, we're just dropping one right in the heart of that. And we're going to drop, uh, jump out of the plane because we don't have much more time. Elsewise, I might, be con might consider going for that M10. Four kills! Oh, baby, it's a quadruple. <laughs> I love it. Can't complain about that. So let's see if we can do maybe more of a brawling style. I don't know. It's kind of awkward. Can we do a brawling style play now? It's a little bit late because I'm all the way on this side of the map. But okay, it's actually... No, we can do brawling. We can do brawling. I'm going to go jump off the cliff. You can do this just fine. Don't worry about it. I've got a lot of speed, so we're going to just... We're just going to go full speed off the cliff. Whoever thought that this is a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. You just need balls, guys. Balls. All you need is balls. Ta-da! Hello. And then there's the, uh, Stug. Hello. Oh my god. That was not what I wanted. I'm dead. That was bad. That was bad. Yes. Oh, thank god. His gunner died. That was bad. Sometimes... It can be a little bit lackluster. We're just gonna go on his side just to be absolutely safe here. There we go. He's down. We lost the driver. I'm not sure how we did how that we managed that. I think that might have been from our tumble actually. We did like a 360 spin almost. Ooh. We're going to go for his turret. Nice and easy. Kill a bunch of guys. He's going to have to back off and get repaired. But we're going to wait. We're going to wait a few seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and now. Damn it! I think it hit something else. I think it hit the uh, tank trap. I was waiting for his uh, aimer to go back in. Somebody to replace his position. Because once you kill him off, then there'll be enough guys dead in the tank for him to be knocked out. We need to grab A. It's getting kind of desperate now. So we're going to just move up to A. And this tank does not feel so mobile anymore. It's kind of weird. Like when you lose one of those front guys. I think he's only a machine gunner. But it's like you lose one of those front guys and it's all of a sudden harder to maneuver but I think it's actually maybe damage to my transmission that's uh oh oh why did he not kill me why did he not shoot me what a silly 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 sauerkraut you silly kraut is that a bomb trying to drop on me okay we're just gonna push up to here Oh! Oh! Bombs! Bombs everywhere! Oh! That was close. I don't know why that guy would not shoot at me. It looked like he was uh, going for somebody else, but honestly, he could have easily killed me. He could have easily have done a lot of damage to me. I'm getting a little bit lucky, I have to admit, in uh, certain aspects of this match. So there's a lot of enemies still alive. A lot. Still an uphill battle, guys. This is the brawling playstyle that we're going with right now. Okay, so we're gonna move in. I'm probably just gonna stay behind this cover here. I'm really hoping nobody comes up from behind. I'm kind of hoping that they don't. That guy's dead. What I want to do is kill people as they come across the bridge. See this good poking out position? What you want to try to do is weave in and out of these positions like this. See? It's going back and forth, you know, getting cover as you fire your gun, so you can reload. So we're just going to wait for this guy to reappear. Oh. We're going to go for it. No, we're not. Oh my gosh, see what happens? Hit me anywhere, and I suffer mass casualties. So what we really need to do is just wait for the enemy to come out. Oh my gosh, this is bad. I foresee bad things, guys foresee bad things so we're gonna <laughs> I was gonna say we're just gonna wait for the enemy but we just got finished off by artillery I don't think there's gonna be enough time to save this game we're gonna go out with the m10 and let's actually spawn over here or m18 sorry black cat difference between this and the Hellcat is the fact that it's uh, actually got more horsepower so I guess that would mean more acceleration and better uh, voyages up slopes, but also it's got a faster rotation speed on the turret apparently 
turret rotation speed. Very nice, very fast. Now we need to kill the enemy who is down over here. Okay, we got a hit on the back. I honestly don't know where I'm getting hit from now. I really don't. See, I don't, I don't know where I'm getting hit from. I, I, is that the Panzer F2? What the hell is even hitting me? Oh, that sucks. It didn't look like I could even shoot him from my angle. Oh, no. Oh, no. And so all I'm left now with is uh, kind of crummy tanks. It seems like my team has faltered. Let's see. We've got a lot less guys than they do. Didn't expect it to be so heavily defended. I was hoping that I could have just gone to that point. Or spawned over here and just rushed straight for A. I think it would maybe would have been better if I went from up on that hill. So maybe I wouldn't have gotten hit by so many tanks from so many different places. So... Yeah, there's no chance. I don't, there's not enough time. We'd have to have somebody on the point right now decapping. There just ain't enough time in the world, guys. It's sad to see. That was a decent game as well. It was a decent game. We tried. We tried. Oh, did we try. And we failed. But there you guys go. That is some M18 uh, Hellcat action. A very nice tank when used properly. A lot of fun. Just gotta play it very carefully because you will die uh, fast otherwise. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any other recommendations of what tanks you'd like to see, then feel free to leave that in the comment box below. But until next video, this is Krebs, and I'll catch you guys next time.